Okay guys, this might not mean anything to anybody else, but we are on the new road. That is Magic Kingdom Cast Parking and Disney University. And this is a brand new road that we have been awaiting for so long. For two years. Long. So like, it's kind of weird because, I don't know that, does Google Maps take you back there? Yeah. Not, it does, okay. So like, it's kind of a, cast member only road but like they don't check um and i think people that are local know it's there because if we didn't go through we to get to magic kingdom we'd have to half go an hour. yeah we'd have to go to disney springs and like around and it would be insane um so we go this way for actually we go this way for everything except disney springs yeah anyway this is so exciting it's gonna put us over by a fire station and pretty close to the Grand Floridian. Well, actually, it's backstage Magic Kingdom Splash Mountain is what it puts us by, but you wouldn't know that. Most of you wouldn't know that. So we are documenting this moment. Oh, the light doesn't work yet. Awkward. They have stop sign. Oh. And there we are. Now this is where we would normally catch up with this road. This is very exciting. Also, I know this is really dark. Um, ah. Now it's not. Um, I'm, everything's really fuzzy. Um, we're eating dinner at 10.30 p.m., but we'll explain that later. You guys, you can't really see me. Oh, you could kind of see me for a second. It is midnight. We're leaving Buffalo Wild Wings, and I still haven't told you why we are here. I mean, it probably doesn't even really seem that weird to you, but there are so many families walking through the door right now at midnight. I don't know. I don't care if it's summer. Not all of those people can be from the West Coast and have it be 9 p.m. Um, yeah, it's crazy. I mean, like, literally the whole dining room is, like, full of children. Like, and massive parties. parties of 12 or more. But, should we tell them why? We'll wait till we get home. We'll tell you why we came when we get home. She needs a sock to be free. <laughs> We're talking about, sometimes, Gadget looks like a house elf. <laughs> Anyways, so, why did we go to B-dubs? Well, besides the fact that we like it. And it was the only thing open. So when we went there like three-ish weeks ago, two-ish weeks ago, we had a really bad experience. Like, they remade my food three times it was wrong and even the third time it was wrong and then they still had us pay for the item and like Duncan was done eating way before I had my correct food I wasn't with you for that one that oh. was with my mother yeah cat wants attention yeah he's way over there um so yeah um the manager called because the manager that was there was stupid and um i mean i would say a lot more in detail but in general she just wasn't good um and so she gave us 40 dollars to come back in this experience our service well I, our service was great last time it was just our food was wrong a million times um our server was great though um but it was the same manager that was there the other night that was really crappy and like the manager that gave us the credit was like the manager I'll come over and check on you and make sure everything's okay oh no this girl did not come back she looks like 12 like she has to be just 18 right maybe 20 no 21 oh you have to be 21 okay so she's like 21 <laughs> like she looks really young though like this is definitely her first rodeo so lots to learn, but, um, yeah, what else were we going to say? Oh, ah, uh, when we were driving past, we drive past the Contemporary 
and where the monorails sleep at night on our way home. And we see the monorails go to bed all the time. By go to bed, I mean like... Get go, parked. Yeah, they park them for the night. And I've always wondered what happened, like, what? how do the monorail drivers get to their cars? Because, like, there's no parking over by where the monorails go at night. It actually shares the same kind of warehousey storage thing as the trains. Fun fact. Um, <coughs> and I always wondered, like, do they walk to Magic Kingdom parking? I mean, they could, but, like, there's not really the best walkways. And, that like, seems inconvenient and unsafe. Yeah, and, like, it's really dark back there. So, anyway, my point being that we saw, we drove past and I saw a white van that was labeled monorail transportation. And it answered my question. I still don't know where they park, though. So I don't know if they park over at Magic Kingdom or if they park over at the TTC or both. Uh, I guess it really doesn't make sense for them to park at West Clock because then they'd have to take the bus to the Utilidor, walk to the front, hope they start, like, at Magic Kingdom. You know what I'm saying? They'd have to, like, get in the Utilidor, go up out stage, on stage, by the main entrance, and, like, walk up the ramps. So I feel like the TTC is probably their home base. Maybe. Because that's where the break, monorail break room is, isn't it? I have no idea. I don't know. Anyway, I was just excited to find out there is a monorail van. But... We have to go to bed. Tomorrow is going to be the most fun day ever. A challenge we've been wanting to do. For months. For like three years. So, come back tomorrow. You'll want to. Bye bye Thanks for coming to the show. And for a little I've been here. And for a